Then light one for my cataracts. I'm in the club, I'm going hard. They say Kimi don't know how to act. No Denzel, but the Washington's all in my pockets is telling me different. Tossing cash from left to right. I mean, oh, what a wonderful feeling. And I hold the cards looking like I'm playing pity pack. And I want it all, niggas. You can get a penny bag. We'll fall to the money. Ain't no need to bad track. Yeah, I'm eating when you fall. Flip them over, snap rack, call it blasphemy. No some niggas there to blasphemy. Chop the body, take the body, grab the girl, roll that nigga far way out past the tree. Nigga, hold up, have a crash seat. Yeah, I'm sick, way past the disease. It's like, damn, Kimi, back at the nigga with the flow. I be like, damn, Kimi, she ran my wish when she glow. I be like, damn, ZZ, cause she had a one, two, two step in the show, these are pro. I'm making you tell you, you think I was burning. Running for breath, you think I was burning. Soft in the inside, your breath in the journey. Sheesh, burnt. You fuck with my bitches, you might just get burnt. We smoking that loud like the speakers got burnt. But we got the back of the music is turned. Yeah, loud. No need for the judge to put him on trial. What is beat to a cow with my feet in the eye, man? I'm so comfortable, this my seat for a while, man. I'm top of my shit like a pile. None of you call them money like they die. Thinking no race, silence. I'm all in the club, easy team. Comments, I'm in the ball of the scene. Comments, I'm steady, just stacking the screen. Comments, and always just keep me the beat. Promise, honest, I've been me wherever I've been. Wallace, hey. The way that I'm living, the shit I was giving, they said I'd be dead, I'd be up in the prison, but I didn't listen, and I'm on a mission, I've been in the trenches, and I gotta get it, I give her daddy, I'm dick and I'm dipping, she know that I'm hustling, sure they ain't tripping, keep it a hundred, I'm stuck with the scratch, and I'm rolling the most, and the parties are switching, gang, 40 sipping, and I'm tweeting, all the BS give it me that I know they're approved, since I hit it, she a nudist, I ain't human, I'm a mutant, you know how I do this, thoroughbred it out the bottom, I climb, ain't got the time, all I know is the grind, ain't no complaints, I was built to survive, ain't nobody that's colder than me, that's a lot, dedicated, putting over time, ain't no love for the other side, but He's dropping in the summertime. Channel 3 has been a homicide. Yeah. Growing older, heart is getting colder. Word is on my shoulders. I don't trust the soul. Things will never be the same again. RB Brody got hit with a pole. Brody kept eating the streets. It was cold. Money power. Respect. He was losing control. Face it like Tim, but the bro never told. Always told me never fold and be bold. I can't slow down, bitch. I've been on the road. I wish the homies was here to behold. Knots in our pockets. We drip on the road. We overseas and we sell out the show. Never bitching. I ain't never snitching. I ain't never quitting. That sucker shit. Ops in the rear. No, I'm tucking shit. Get the hands clean. Brody busting it. Don't you ever play. I'll be on other shit. Look at sugar, looking like a lick. Flick the wrist, I always rip a hit. Surfer crowd, I always keep it lit. Bitch, I've been back in my bag. Shorty, she counting the cash. Ayy, Shorty, she know that she bad. Bitch, I do not mean to brag. Ayy, I ain't gonna answer the phone if we ain't talk about racks. Ayy, I got the body for life. Grab a nugget out the stash. Ayy, smoke spills, but baby, powder of the oil. Yeah, they call me Prince cause I'm raw. I'm from the mud, get some salt. They said the Oscar wasn't for you. I went and fought De La Hoya. They said they getting paranoid. The small beans can't go up. Whoa, do it look like I am worried. I take my shot, step in curry. I'm here to stay. You other boys in a hurry. She drink it down till it's blurry. I cut that shit like I'm married. She start to trip. Then she judge me like she married. Maybe his real name is Mari. Don't matter that shit. She wanna ride on my Harley. Told her go find her a Quinn. Then it's two shots for the win. Yeah, yeah. Let's go do Sunday again. It's like my whole world on the spin. Yeah, yeah. She know what happens today. She know we always forget. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Carter for that. Students is playing cassette. Yeah, yeah. I went to Harvard for that. School of Hard Knocks, you at the School of Hard Rocks, bugging and shit, you can not walk in my socks, and I just bought a new watch, life is so great, promise y'all shredded on steak, you can say that's for the bait, if you miss that then you're late, green always show for the fake, green never show for the hate, photo fresh when I pull up later, carpet it down, swag, MCE name on it, then the line go around, swag, I'm a stretch if I'm left or right, let me do my dad, swag, hey niggas hate and show you love real big. This is the full time radio show for the record. Fuck Trash, trash rappers. rappers. I'm your host, Craig Lynch. Your boy J. Dot, TYM, Fresh Air, Broke Guys. This is Johnny Tex. As you already heard, man, more fire beats, more better bars. You already know what's going on. Everybody stay tuned. This is only going to elevate. Prince Akeem, man, Jigsaw, Rings. Uh-huh. Check it out. You already out. know, man, so. On YouTube. Heavy hit. We were talking about, uh, you know, Triple X situation for hip-hop. Um, it's just a new generation, I feel like, man. It's just, like, twisted, man. So once, but the people are enjoying it. The people are loving it. And they've got the million, million people fan base. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, when that happens and you get to a certain level of fame, some people reach out to you and they say, get down or lay down. That's how I always thought. So if it happens, it happens. If you don't take this, if you take the sacrifice, you you live. I feel like my man Triple X, 
said, nah, I'm good. Well, like in my, my opinion, message is strong enough. That's... My yeah. message is strong enough to where I don't got to sell my soul, man. Yeah, I that's, feel like that's, that's what it is. Because, you know what I mean, so. a, a lot of times when people get to a top, you know, of a hill, like the game king of the hill, you stay on the top by, like, you're not coming up to this level with me. That's it. So that's how I feel like music is. And how you feel about hip-hop as a whole, Logic, man? Like, it's definitely changed since we came up. I definitely want to get your opinion on the core hip-hop right now, how you feel about it. I'm like... The new generation. I'm like, the new generation, they just want to have fun. And I'm like, at the end of the day, I got to remind myself that, yo, at one point, I was that age, too. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, me and my wife was talking about this actually earlier today. It was like, yo, you remember when Little John and Yin Yang came out? Doug, like, we were sitting there doing how many dances? Mm -hmm. Like, all skeet, skeet, Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang, you that? Yo, Wu-Tang and, like, all that stuff. So I'm like... For me to be where I am at now and to look at a generation that's younger than me that's doing the same things I was doing when I was that age, it, I can't be the old guy in the room. Yeah. Like I have to accept some of that energy. Now, some of it just ain't for me. Yeah. Like You're not talking about nothing. Like I at least would like some substance that's with the having fun. That's a good word, yeah. substance. Yeah. Like, I haven't heard that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would love to have some substance or some context to what is actually going on with you. Right. Because I came from the era where you fall in love with the artist, then you fall in love with the music. Yeah, that's right. And now it's a little different. Yeah. Like, what you fall in love with may be a gimmick, and you fall in love with the gimmick, and then the music is a gimmick, too. Right. But there is some out here where the energy is just crazy. Right. And I'm like, for me to reject that energy, like, I, I can't be that old head in the yeah. room. I feel you. I just, like, my man Jay done <clears throat> say, the cash flow is fine, the hustle is fine, the way they're going about handling their business but the second they say they got bars, that's yeah, when nah. we step yeah, in. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's when we step yeah. in, man. Bro, Prince Akeem, man, how you feel about hip hop as a whole? Do you feel like these kids are all too too fucked up off the drugs to make nah, big man, sense, I, or what's going on with this new generation, man? Talk to us. All right, so I've been asked this question a lot, man, and um, I'm almost thirty years old myself, so I've been around, you know, changes in the hip hop industry, and um, I feel like you know with with uh, you know the growth of entertainment and technology, and uh, you know the so the whole social aspect of the world came new genres of hip hop. Honestly, right. um, I feel like back then hip hop was just you know one track, you know our hardcore rap, so to say, and then you know give it to you straightforward, no you know harmonizing, no singing involved, no type of auto tuning involved, no type of, and with the growth of technology, hip hop grew. To the point where hip hop is, you know, not just a genre anymore. It's more like a classification with genres. Sub-genres. Yeah, sub-genres. Sub-genres, to it. sub-genres in it. Yeah. yeah. And 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 um a lot of people like they, they ask me like what kind of rapper you are and you know, I try to say I I tell them like I do all lane hip hop. And then people are like, Well, all lane hip hop, hip hop is just one thing, it's just one lane. So is that your sub genre, all lane? Yeah, that's 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 how I feel I, you know. Right. So you have like you have conscious, you have trap, you have backpack, you have um Mumble. They're literally clear yeah. on that now. You got um Mumble Rap. It's all on the advertisement. You got a uh, battle rap. rap. Oh. You got um you know, storytelling, like my short film, so to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have so you have all lane hip hop and you know, I feel like with the growth of technology, hip hop grew and I'm not mad at it. Now, like my little brother here, he listens to like a lot of, like YBN NBA Young Boy and yeah. YBN Namir and all like all of them, and I really don't care for it too much because I feel like there's no like content in it. Yep, but exactly. it's definitely a wave though, yeah, sure. and it it it's, it just shows the growth in you know hip hop as itself. It definitely so. does. That's what that's why I respect it because at the end of the day, like it shows the growth in the whole culture because, like you said, it's not just one style of hip hop anymore. Like you can you can go certain different directions or two certain different artists for a different type of sound. Like right. You don't have to be stuck in one wave. If you don't like the, the turn up party stuff, you could go to the conscious storytelling stuff and vice versa. Like, so I think it's dope that hip hop grew so much to a point where it did branch out and have so many different type of lanes and so many different type of sub genres, right. which is cool. Cause a lot of the new stuff isn't my cup of tea at all. Like I like some of the new guys don't get it twisted, but a mo- majority of them, that's not what I'm going to turn to, but I got to respect it. You know what I mean? Wait, like, and at the same time, I mean, that is good for a growth standpoint because now like, it's bringing in giant and more percentage of uh, the population is a fan base too because you know there's some people that will only listen to this new stuff 
but will not listen to the stuff that we grew up on. Right. Like, right. they may not sure. comprehend it or understand they it. They never even it's heard of these cats, is. man. Exactly. Right. So it's like... They don't know who Beanie Siegel in, is. Or it just broadened the, the amount of nothing. people who are going to, you know, support hip-hop, you know, music and entertainment. So, to me, like, business-wise and growth-wise, it's it's cool. Like I said, we might not like it, but they don't like what we like. Yeah. So, but either way... It's all under the umbrella of hip hop. Okay, so it's going to help there, out there, the and brings different. There was a lot of subgenres, bring different type of fans. Right. It grow, it grew to a bigger population. Now, right. I just like I said, it's my theory. I just some of them new guys think they got bars though, and that's where we come in. This is the right. FTR show. Yeah, I, I, just just be yourself. You know what I mean? Scratch the gimmick, rock out, and I promise we'll still respect it if it's real. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Just be real. So yeah. that's what I want this new generation to do, man. Get off the drugs and be real. That's it. Is that a, it's too much? Make yeah. good music. Put some passion into it. Don't say you in it just for a check, man, because you don't get nowhere that way. Yeah, you get paid, and it's all good, fine and dandy that night. But then when you run out of the bread, what happens? You got a crazy rep, and nobody wants to bang with you. So I understand we got to get paid for what we do, fellas. Right. But you got to go in there with sort of love and passion. And the person who's paying you, they should be able to see that you got it and you're going to take it serious. Like, mm-hmm. That's how I'm feeling about it. So. You can't talk about stuff that you don't know about. Exactly. That's well, it. You can't be out here talking about all this stuff and you got this type of burner and blah, blah, blah. But the, the clip that you're talking about don't match the gun that you're talking about. There you go. Right. Logic. Yeah, Logic just like, like, yeah, completely. Like, come on. Mm-hmm. Both of y'all, come we on. do this as a profession. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I understand, but... When you get somebody's pitch and you say, look, this is what I do, this is what I offer for this amount, right? and you see it with your own eyes, that's when you know it's official or not. Because a lot of people can say a bunch of things, you know, oh, you know, I, I'm coming 50 deep to the show, watch out for me. And then they call you and say, yo, I'm missing a shoelace, I can't make it because this one, <laughs> this one pair of shoes I really need to wear, dog, because we on the Facebook, I, I won't be able to make it out there, you know what I mean? Give me $100, though, I'll buy a new pair of shoes and come out. That's just we got it. We got to try to avoid them cats in the game right now, man. Be real, be genuine about it, man. So you already know, but it all comes with the subgenre. So I wanted to get AJ's uh, Logic's opinion. My fault. Like I said, we grew up with him from the mud. You're good, you're I want to get Logic's opinion, man. Subgenres of producing. Now, how do you mm. how do you define Logic the beat man instrumentals, man? I, right. I don't know. Can, I, can I you don't put, know. Can you put a subgenre on a Logic beat, man? I can't. I can't. I, however I feel that day is what I'm going to make. Like, and that's just real. Like, when y'all talked about before, like, you can, at the battle, you you felt the beats. Not just necessarily just heard them. Like, you felt them. Right. Like, every day, the, the stu- like, if me, me and girl, like, my wife get into an argument, I'm taking that into the studio. Like, I guess we about to get an angry beat. Like, if I'm not feeling, like, up to par that day, oh, I'm still creating but I may just make a slow jaw on that day. Like, every single time I'm feeling something, I take that energy and take it into the studio. So that's why I feel like as a producer, I'm very versatile. So that's why I can't just put one sub-genre. And right now, now like, since, since I've met you and all that and uh, mm-hmm. been, like, you know, talking about the things, you know, like the beat battle and all that. And right. With the winner and everything. So people actually have, who know you, you know, we grew up in the same area. So right. So went to the same school. Right. So... And that's their opinions is the words that they literally use is that he is different mm. or original. So mm. like you just explained right now, he just literally went to the differences of moods of how he makes his beats. So that word different is the description I've been getting the most about logic and, out there. Mm. And so we heard me and J Dot know about the logic beats. Like one in general that J Dot grabbed off you. Um, other than my lose control joint, I I don't even think it was called lose control, but hey, if I let you hear it, you're gonna be like, Wow. You know what I mean? But J Dot has a certain beat off you. It's called Free. Oh, snap. The now, joint for YouTube? You. Fire. That's crazy. I could just that's tell. Crazy. I said, yo, he came in the booth. I he forgot came. about that. Yeah, I still just, got that. That, 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 that. that defines the angry beat to me because you snapped on that. <laughs> nah, that was me at college just trying to figure out an MPC. Like, <laughs> just trying to figure it out. Like, yep. Wow. You still got that joint? Yeah, I got it. That's coming soon. That's you about to release that? Oh yeah! Oh, oh man! Yeah. Oh man! It's we might have fine. to touch that joint yeah. up. Yeah. Word, word. We might have to touch them drums up. Them drums is light. You said I elevated my skill over since then. Doc, yeah, 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 yeah. That was ten years ago. Right. Maybe more. Yeah, right? no, it was yeah, ten plus. More. That's easy, crazy. So, so That's Akeem, crazy. man. Um, like I said, I know you all lane type of music for your subgenre, all lane. Yeah. Now, um, 
How long have you been uh, performing on stage? Like, have so, you know? I, I know you've been taking it serious for four years. Did you start off performing? You know, um, did you kind of like build into it? And how comfortable you are doing it now? You know. So I was I was kind of like thrown straight into it because um, when I first started music, like rapping, um, I had dropped like fifteen hundred on a video because I, I just wanted everything to be like yeah. you know perfect first time. Facts, you know? Yeah. So I dropped like fifteen hundred on a video and um, we shot it at Club Onyx, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was so lit that um you know the DJ at Onyx decided to take me on like you know to join my team as you know Prince Hakeem's official DJ. Um, shout okay. out to DJ Benz um, who plugged in a lot for me. Facts. Um, so from there it kind of like everything was just a little bit more of a rush factor than it was like me saying like all right, let me set up my shows based on you know comfortability, do some open mics and then showcases and then shows it was just more like you know hop on the stage with the strippers and you know give it to them (laughs) so i had to like i was just like thrown into the lines then and you know you know females that make you feel more nervous than anything half naked women with fat butts and you know oh that yeah fact that's i mean crazy environment right there dog i had to grasp it from the beginning and then my second show was for bernard hopkins i performed for bernard hopkins and um Oh, that's right. fire, that's so yeah, much, man. Yeah, Akeem's yeah, exactly. been places, bro, I'm telling you. Mm. Yeah. You know, we decided to get up and do the Issues remix and perform it at Sigu's very first event oh, yeah, in, yeah. in Berlin, New Jersey. You know, yeah. I'm just meeting Akeem, and, and you know, was he cool. was supposed to perform already, so I reached out. I was like, yo, man, I got this joint. We can have a little finale end of my set. So I grabbed Stevie Franks, I grabbed Akeem, and I remember that night you were promoting the video uh, at Onyx. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. how long ago it's been, bro. I knew you four or five plus. Yeah. So we cooking, man. Like I said, like, I'm happy to have you on the building. Y'all both full time. Thank you. Trust me, y'all wouldn't be in the building if not. I can't wait. Yeah, we got some fair. bars coming later, all that. But we're going to get Fresh into some piece. things, man. J Dot, man. What's good? I want to get your opinion on Beast of the Beat because I never really got to talk to the team gathering about it. And I want to get Logic's opinion on his opponents. And I want to get Prince Akeem's opinion on the performers. You being a performer yourself. First, I'm going to start with J-Dot, man. As a whole, man, Beast on the Beat, how do you feel like – do you feel like it's the beginning of something great, man? Yeah, for sure. Um, I felt like all the time that we put into it, building up to it, I felt like in the end it ended up being a successful event. So that's really all that you can really strive for is being successful. I mean, there's certain areas and certain things I would do differently the next time. and But that's all a learning experience with your first actual event that you're throwing. So. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I know what to do different as far as behind the scenes on my end. Um, but all in all, like like I said earlier, like basically the whole idea and the whole situation just came up as basically we got this radio show platform and we're bringing up people and, and trying to trying to provide different type of outlets for people to get their stuff out there. So we figured how can we incorporate that in the show? So basically what best way to do it than bring producers and artist and and a like, radio and, station yeah, the radio station everything, and everything uh, together special guest judges from different areas yeah. like so everybody could be under one big networking umbrella and that's exactly what we tried to put together with this and i feel like it was it was a success as far as that end and it was fun while doing it it was a it was a good experience you know what i mean it's something we could definitely build off of for sure Thanks. keep the momentum going it's going to get mm-hmm. better every time because like i said that was the first one mm-hmm. we're we going to learn from the situations that we could have mm-hmm. did differently get more people in the building make sure everything is is ran smoothly as far as time and stuff like that all the stuff that goes on with throwing a show but mm-hmm. in my mm-hmm. eyes i've i I, w- I was happy with it mm-hmm. shout out like the red door too man they held it down they yeah, they let us rock yeah, out yeah, dope, sure. yeah. Really dope yeah. Venue. Yeah. and you know my goal logic and prince was the exactly what we're doing now y'all too don't know each other from a can of paint when y'all right. come in right. and y'all here after yeah. so that's yeah. my goal yeah, yeah. So therefore it has to be a success because that's what we we're going for. just just so not go, to go for the record um i've done maybe about 10 shows at red dwarf that was the most packed I've ever seen Red Dwarf. Word. Word. Okay. Ever. And we, Appreciate it, man. So that kudos to y'all. Appreciate it. Thing is we, for that. We, we, we expected a lot more, yeah. too. I'm not I've even done gonna, about I'm 10 shows at Red yeah. Dwarf. So I was, one recently on Monday. And he, my man right okay, here was performing. Okay. Fuck that. Don Pollard in the it. fucking building, man. You already know. And that y'all, y'all event definitely you know, made it look like a packed house. We was expect, expecting Thank you, an man. extra at least 50, too. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? To keep it real. To keep it real. should be crazy. Keep it real. None of our people came. That, that was the yeah. issue. Yeah. That's yeah. why. None. And, and trust me, they heard it from us. 
Yeah. They've been hearing so, me and Jay do snap. Yeah, like every show we go None to. None of our like, people. Our man. first show this year was just a small, put together, like bullshit show in Violent, and we still came 50 deep to that. We came 60 deep to to, vo- to Voltage so, yeah, Marster. Voltage like, so we, we've yeah. been having like a yeah, core was, following of a good yeah. 50, Marster. 50, 60 Marster. people oh, at every show. To that, and man, we had about maybe we two to five show. for this one. So it was a. <laughs> On, on that end, that's kind of where we dropped the ball. Like, if we would have had our core following of, like in that yeah, building, so. it would have been crazy. Yeah, y'all got to get it together, man. Sense. Core following. It's all good. Y'all, y'all got to get it together, man. To nah, so basically. For real. I, yeah, I feel like, so but. basically on the situation is that I'll take that. There was no way that this event, in my mind, turned out to be a loss. Not at all. Like, mm-hmm. I see nothing but gains from it. Yeah, yeah sure. like I said, like, my goal was accomplished, man, here right, tonight. Like, you know like what I'm ev- saying? E- e- everything, you know what I mean, was equaled out and everything. So, at, at the minimum. So, basically, it's like we covered the successfulness of putting together the hosts, the DJs. You know, everybody came through. And we actually ended the show on time. So Facts. Yeah, we laid down the first brick. Surprising. So that's another yes. thing. Is like yeah. I feel like there's no beef with the venue also. So like, nah, um, yeah, nah. It's so it's a lot of love, aspects, man. So I feel like there was no like there was no such thing as a bridge uh, bridge burned that night. You know? nah, yeah, we started enough, off, we started off with multiple curveballs as soon as the day started. Right. Two backouts, maybe three backouts. Right. And we had we a got DJ a new DJ within six hours. Yeah. So yeah. DJ like, back down. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. So. Like day Shout out to yeah. DJ Flea Market for hopping in, yeah, man. Salute. He's the he official. Was on point. Yeah. He was on. He's the, he was on point. He's yeah. the official DJ at Beast on the Beat, and he, he had a lot to be down with him that day. Yeah, he accepted that job. He was on point. Maybe three so, hours before the event. Easily, right. so three I, hours came yeah. through from Trenton, New Jersey. So, so shout I, out to Flea Market, man. It's a, <clears> I, I did a lot. I did a lot of stuff with him back in the day. You know, in Trenton when I used to perform heavy out there, he was always the DJ. So yeah, we, had, we had three artists back out, I feel, too. Yeah, so shout yeah. out to Drip, uh, the bull, young bull Drip that filled in for uh, for Mizzy Coke. Yeah, yes, he, yes. He was dope. He brought a lot of energy. Drip snap. Definitely yeah, so that was a last-minute fill-in. Um, Von J, she just never showed, so we couldn't fill that in. She shout out to Von J. She didn't give us no, yeah. no, no notice or nothing. but <laughs> FTR. And then Two of a Kind actually ended up not performing. But at the end of the day, I mean, we... Timing wise, everything was on point. Yeah, everything was straight. Yeah. We no. sacrificed our performance for that. I'm cool Is that, that. Hey, man, ain't That's nothing fine. to sacrifice performance for our show to be successful Yo, now. Man, when it comes know. to performances, Prince Akeem, man, being a performance yourself, man, um, how do you feel about the performance and what they did? You know, being that it was a Beast on the Beat battle tournament, how do you feel like the, you know, because the performers were from all over. So how do you feel like they did being as an artist, man? All right, so um, I feel like the performers were, were uh, pretty decent. Um, it was something that was lacking energy. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm gonna be completely honest. I, I, I can't you. just hey, sit here and just you know sugarcoat everything. But um, all right. So if I could be completely honest, I'm a Bugs that's fan. It. Yo, so I, that's what I was waiting for. Bugs, yeah, I was waiting for Bugs. Shout out to Bugs. Shout yo. out to Bugs. Mm-hmm. Bugs, we snapping. I'm, 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 I'm a big Bugs fan. Yo. Yeah. I, and, and you know him being a pure artist, I learned a lot from him as well. You know, as far yeah. as like stage presence and you know, yeah, no, nah, yeah, he, he definitely, he's definitely a uh, perfectionist of what he does, man. He's good, and we got a session with him on Sunday. You know what I mean? Like we definitely right. rock out with Bugs. Right. Um, Bugs is actually a producer in this tournament. I never knew he made instrumentals. I never knew he made beats. But yeah. Volume yeah. Two, Bugs versus Me, Mark, it's going down. Two, oh, yeah, definitely. two childhood friends going at it. Definitely, will be there for that one. Yeah. Going at it. it. Yeah, that's gonna be and, first and, uh, round. Um, one of my producers, uh, Kenny Yemenes. Oh, KD Beats. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's in volume two. He did a lot of my, uh, catalog. Um, yeah, yeah. Like a whole lot of my catalog. I, I haven't heard any of his beats, oh, though, but. That rumor is going around this grapevine. That's what they're saying. They're saying that whoever got the most stain in this volume two tournament is Logic the Beat Man and KD Beats. They've been doing it the same amount of time. They got the same amount of stuff going on. And they got stained. So they're, they're saying that's the finals Half right my now. Catalog. I got over like, like 80 songs. And so now. if that's the finals right now, woo! But other than that, shout out to all the contestants, you know what I mean? So speaking of the contestants and producers, man, Logic the Beat Man. Um, first, so you had first round versus Fifth Stone. Right. Second round versus D Wills. And right. then Supreme Kai in the finals. Right. Which producer was your most challenging? And which producer did you like the most that you faced? Supreme Kai was definitely the toughest. Um, and he was my favorite. I'm not going to lie. After the first round, I went up to him, and I told him, like, good job. But then I whispered in his ear, like, bro, I'm going to see you in the finals. Like, right. make it to the end. Right. And then when we got there, I was just like, I told you. Right, right. And he was just like, nah, you was right. You was right. 
That's, that's, so, yeah. so Supreme so he, Kai. Yeah, Supreme Chester Kai. PA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came in through Amino Guns. Amino Guns came and performed. <laughs> uh, said, you know, I got a producer for the tournament. Mm-hmm. And Kai was really one of the producers, you know, well, promoting I mean, it, it one of the most. Up. Yeah, promoting it like crazy and told me he learned a lot from Beast on the Beat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He told me he learned a lot and he's just ready to battle. So he's ready to, uh, you know, he's going to be in the Grand Prix. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is the top five producers that we feel like in every tournament are going to go in the Grand Prix. Actually, top four. We're going to exclude the champion because the champ's the champ. But um, our best four, other than the champion, are going to be in this Grand Prix that we got going on end of the year. You know what I mean? So look out for that. Uh, we got... Logic the Beat Man coming back, man. Beast on the Beat Champion. Let's give him one more round of applause, man. So, man came prepared. We're going to we gonna, we gonna hit y'all off with uh, two of the final Logic the Beat Man beats that we got. And then we're going to hit you with Prince Akeem's last two tracks. And then we're going to come on, man, for our last segment. Like I said, it's been an honor, man. Appreciate both of y'all. Kool-Aid in the wine glass. Logic the Beat Man. Repercussion. What's up? Trust me, man. Y'all got some soldiers in the mix full time. We're going to get into some stuff, man. Logic the Beat, man. Prince Akeem. j Dye, you ready? I'm ready, bro. ABM101.com, man. Every Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. This is the full-time radio show. For the record, fuck the trash, trash rappers. rappers. I'm your host, Craig Lynch. Boy, j Dye, T.Y. Young, Fresh Air, Bro Gods, Jersey. This is Johnny Tex. You already know, if you stay tuned, we got the tandem going on tonight. So, at the end of it, it's going to be some fire. You already know. Holla. Yeah.
This is the full time radio show for the record. Fuck, Fuck trash, trash rappers. rappers. I'm your host, Craig Lynch. It's your boy, J. Dot, TYN, Fresh Air, Bro Guys, Jersey. This is Johnny Checks, ABM, full time radio show. And you just heard music from Logic the Beat Man and Prince Akeem. Yes, man. Beast on the Beat Champion, Volume 1. Prince Akeem, Kool Aid in a Wine Glass. Mr. Jigsaw, Part 2 coming soon. Like I said, my whole goal for Beast on the Beat was to have people network and be together after and make some magic. Hearing the opinions of hip-hop between both of these guys, they want to hear more content. They're going to give you more content. We are. Please tell me we expected some Logic to Beat Man, Prince Akeem stuff going on, man. Nice. That's, nice. That's nice. fact. Uh, I know you pro- promo uh, Jigsaw a lot. This is Jigsaw Part 2 that we're working on. Yes, that's right. Um, the theme is Michael Myers this year, just to let everyone know. Oh, it's about to be crazy. Go. Yeah. And, and they dropping Michael Myers yeah, this year. And they dropping the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. Movie, so. Oh, man. <laughs> hence, hence, last year they dropped Jigsaw. I dropped Jigsaw. Bro, so yes. it, it's all marketing. Yes, that's yeah, that's what it is, bro. man. Like I said, we Time. applaud both of y'all. We really do. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got our first phone call tonight. Let's see what's going on, man. Full time radio show. Call it. Who's this? Yeah, Hendo in the building, bitch. Hendo. Hendo our up? fellow ABM member, man. The connection every Sunday. 3 to 5 p.m. ABM101.com. Hendo, what's good with you, man? I'm on the way home. They just got some hibachi, bitch. I'm high as hell. High as hell with some hibachi? Facts. We got the champion, though, man. We, I know you knew we threw our producer battle. Um, we uh, we got the champion to build it, man. Say what's up to Logic the Beat, man, man. You? Hey, yo, congratulations, my guy. Yo, appreciate it, bro. That's what's hey, up, Hey, John, man. bro. Hit me with some beats, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, you already <laughs> <laughs> Endo's an animal, bro. Yeah, he's a he's ours. I'm gonna stop rapping, bro. I need beats. I'm not. I need beats, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, man. But TV rappers are TV beats. beats nigga. You already Damn. know. So yeah. we got Prince Akeem in the building. You familiar with Prince Akeem, Jersey? I'm not, but what's good? Salute. What up, bro? What up? What up? Fire, man. We got. He was a special guest judge. Yeah, Jer- you Oh, yeah, you already know, Hendo, man. We definitely appreciate the support. Keep rocking over there, man. The connection between mental illness and hip-hop. Right. The connection. Keep rocking there. Keep being ABM, man. We appreciate the phone call, man. Stay tuned, man. Ain't no problem. Yo, easy, man. Yo, real quick, man. Say, fuck trash rappers. Yo, fuck trash rappers. <laughs> Facts. Hendo, man. Good luck on the phone call, bro. All right, man. Hendo out. All right, yo. Well, wow, shout out to Hendo, man, you know what I mean? Showing some love. First right. call, and it's always good to get a call in. Uh, he actually has his own show here yeah. every Sunday, 3 to 5 p.m., him and Shu. So uh, shout out to Shu, shout out to Hendo, man. Yeah. So we got two, man, talented people in the building. Um, we were getting into hip-hop and how we feel about changing society right now. Mm-hmm. My man J-Dot just dropped a video. Shout out to DJ Welch. Facts. We just dropped the video, man. We got Honeywise is actually in the building, I'm hearing. Oh, I'm J- here. He's that's, here. That's just my alter ego. We here, though. You, you already know. J-Dot, a.k.a. Honeywise. Came out with the music video circus, man. It's hitting 3K in about three days, and it's just climbing and climbing and climbing. Shout out to Well Shout out to everybody going on. Salute. Great project. Now, J-Dot, man, before we play this song, plug it in, man. Tell people what it's about and everything, man. With the mask on. I, you can't hear me with the mask on. But, yeah, facts. Um, shout out to DJ Welch. Uh, that's my guy. Produced the track, uh, shot the video, edited the video. Um, yeah, but basically, when he sent me the beat, I just, well, he sent me a whole folder uh, for his project, for the Anonymous project. Um, shout out to the whole Anonymous movement. Um, yeah, he, he reached out to get me on there, sent me a folder full of beats, and that one just stuck out stuck out the most to me at first. Shout uh, out to so basically, I just sat, I just sat with it, and when I heard the beat, I just felt like, you know what I mean? I, I, it just sounded like a circus to me. So basically, the way the game is to me right now, with all with all the trash and all the promoting of the drugs and the, the wearing the dresses and the skinny jeans, and you know what I mean, I just figured this is my first solo track back after taking a little break for a couple years, like not really messing with the music like that. So I figured, what what better way to do it than than to try and bring an end to the circus, you feel me? Um, so I kind of flipped the whole the whole clown concept with it. Uh, Pennywise, that's my favorite uh, favorite uh, killer clown coming up as a kid. And, and uh, the movie had just came out around that time. So I figured I'd flip it and become the killer clown that uh, takes these little rappers from their little habitat and drags them to the sewer. 
and yeah, you know I mean, and, and brings that realness back. So yeah, the video's doing numbers right now. It's been out for like three, four days at like three thousand. So salute to everybody that's been viewing, uh, sharing, supporting, Get showing me love. Like more, yeah, baby. Let's, let's let's keep it rocking. But yeah, shout out to Welch. That's my guy. Dope dope job on the video. Um, but yeah, basically it's just it, it was just a statement track to say that I'm back. And um, I'm not going to tolerate the fuckery going on in in, in this hip hop shit. So that's it, man. That's basically all it boiled down to at the end of the day. But yeah, turned turned out. So we we out. gonna get into it, man. Before we get into our super facts segment and some bars for the night, let's get into it, man. J Dot, aka aka Honeywise, Circus, produced by DJ Welch, man. Let's get it in. Circus, that's a new single, man. We definitely had to show my man some love on that. There's a music video with it on YouTube. Yeah, check out the video right now. The video brings the whole shit out. Little horror movie, little horror movie, the whole nine, man. So check it out, man. Honey Wise, the Honey Wise track is definitely hard. This Circus track is hard. We're gonna be seeing Honey Wise in the movie coming out. We got an independent film. 
Hero for hire. You know right. what I mean? Honey Wise has a role in it. The hero and the villain meet up to take over and rain, rain war on these trash rappers. Yep. A couple scenes here at the radio show, man. Trust me, man. Hero for hire movie. Watch out for that. Shout out to everybody rocking out. My group that's going to be investing in all that. DJ Welch, got a mind's going to get the whole team in there. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? Circus, J Dot, we proud of you for that. Keep rocking. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can yeah, check, yeah. That, check, that, on, tough, check man. that out on, uh, on YouTube right now. True Welch Media. Just type in J Dot Circus. The first drone that comes up. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to Welch. True Welch Media. Check that Salute, shit out. Now. Great work. Let's go, man. And also, talking about YouTube, what's on YouTube now, I want to give a shout out. Mentioning Gutter Films. He came out with the third episode of season two of Corrupted Minds. You know, there's uh, our fellow, you know, full time radio uh, hoster. Also inside of it, we got All Star P. You know, a cat playing a character role. Yeah, and, uh, myself, movie roles, man. We you understand yeah, what I'm myself, saying? Johnny checks. I'm in a series uh, role. I'm playing a character inside of Corrupted Minds too. So everybody, check that out. It's on uh, YouTube right now. Corrupted Minds season two. Check it Thanks. out. We we in movie roles. We doing a bunch of full time shit with full time people, man. We gonna get into our super fact segment of the night. It's been a little two week break, so I want to spit a real big super fact, man. Real big. I'm in the building with people that are gonna be. Listen, man, in the next decade, in the next five to ten years, even before that, man, Logic the Beat Man and Prince Akeem are going to be on TV, dog. And that's something I'm saying. That's a super fact. Doing something. Y'all going to be. Big facts. Y'all going to be. I'm telling you, it's. I can just feel the aura and the vibe coming off of y'all. Y'all going to be somewhere. Much y'all. respect. Much respect. So the Jigsaw 2 might even do it. Might even, you know, cross that dotted yeah, line, man. Cool to see so that's my super fact of the night, man. Don Pollitt. Let's talk. I want a super fact from Don Pilot, man. We're going to go all around the room, man. That's what we do. The fact could be anything, bro. Anything that you've experienced lately, anything that you learned, it could be a fact that the wall's red right now, bro. We just want to hear something from Don Pilot right now. What I learned, what I, what I learned recently, right? <clears throat> okay. And, and I'm going to say I learned it recently because, you know, even when you feel like you know something, you may not. There's levels to some things. Right. You may not really know it until you, you learn it. You and know that will experience. So, yeah. yeah. And I had to experience this that, you know, um, when it comes down to, uh, you know, this music business, you know, as someone was saying earlier in the room, you know, you got to, nowadays you fall in love with the, the, the character and the image the of, yeah. the, of the artist before you really fall in love with the music. So I learned that no matter what, you got to, you know what I mean? It, it's all about that first impression. You yeah. got to you gotta leave, you know what I mean? That crazy first impression. Point blank period, you got to make them remember you. That's it. Super fact. Super, super fact. fact. Super fact. My man, Don Paula. Make them remember you. j hit us with a super fact, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased, but my super fact of the night is that Logic the Beatman will defend his title and and successfully defend his title at Beast on the Beat Volume Two. Like, look, me and this guy go way, way, way back. You feel me? <laughs> like, way back. It's not like, yeah, like day one stakeout ENT type shit. Like, I'm talking way, way back. But yeah, like at the end of the day, like since we're on the Beast on the Beat topic tonight and shit like that, like shout out to everybody that was involved. And I'm not trying to be biased, but footage coming soon. I fuck by with the way. a lot. I fuck with a lot of the producers that were in Volume One. Like a, a lot of them are my guys, and AJ deserved to win that. You feel me? So Logic the Beat Man, I'm calling it right now, is going to be Volume Two champ, a successful Volume super Two champion. Super facts. Super facts. Super facts. Johnny checks hit us with a super fact. All right, so I'm I'm gonna go out of the original super facts. All right, I'm just gonna say that uh, it's a super fact that I still wonder um, if I had the opportunity to actually see in real life Jennifer Lopez in her bathing suit compared to how when she was younger used to look in the pictures. Like was Photoshop popping then, or was she really like that? So that's my super fact, man, is that I still think about J-Lo sometimes. When Facts. <laughs> Shout out to J-Lo, man. Shout out to J-Lo. J-Lo, she's got enough, you know what I mean? She she actually did a movie in Berlin, New Jersey, so holla at J-Lo. Facts. My man, you got a super fact for us, man? Hit us with it. <laughs> he just put me on the spot. Facts. It's what we do, man, full-time FTR. Yeah. This is one of the hottest radios that shows that I have been up to in a long time. Oh, man, that means yeah. a lot. That's... I give y'all utmost respect. All y'all authentic, original, and y'all keep it straight gutter. Yes, 
I go to I go to F for the record. Fuck trash rappers. Fuck trash rappers. FTR. Right, we're gonna try again. We're gonna try again. Go. Go. FTR. For the full time radio show. Yeah, for the record. record. Fuck trash rappers. Let's go, man. Facts. FTR, man. Appreciate the super fact, man. You're welcome back anytime, man. All right. Like I said, real quick. Y'all already got places, man. Uh, Logic being the champion. Prince Akeem as a guest artist. September 28th, we have the full-time radio show, Cypher, man, Volume 2. Going to be recorded right there. It's going to be fire. We already have a, a Volume 1 out, Parts 1, 2, 3, Part 4 Let's coming. Check that Prince Akeem, out, you a part of it, man. We got a couple producers. All right, word. We're going to rock out here, have a party. It is the What's full-time that? radio show's one-year anniversary, and it's my 30th birthday party. We'll be so here. We'll be here. We cooking we in here, baby. So. We got a lot of things going on in this building, man, so... All right, all Prince right. Akeem, though, hit us with a super fact, man. All right, super fact. I can't just give you one super fact. I'm going to give you three quick ones. Okay. First one. It's fine. LeBron's a hoe. <laughs> LeBron, going you, to the dirty, you dirty, you dirty. Super dirty. fact. You dirty. Number two. Ugh. Golden State got the best GM in the NBA. Number super two. fact. And number three. Nice. Number three. I feel like ABM need to host a beast on the bars competition. Oh, I like that. Whoa. Verse versus yeah. verse. That's super heavy. That's I a like super that. fact. Oh, Beast on the bars, idea. verse versus verse. It don't right. have to be battle style. We ain't got to be talking about that person, nobody in, in general. Right. Beast on the bars versus verse. That's my third right. super fact. Like like and that. you know, and you know, Mar Lux brought that up a couple weeks ago, bringing people here and having them and having two people compete for best bars. And we remember Mar right. Lux was bringing and, it up. And, uh, and so now, oh, it's coming, baby. I even just thought of a fine divisions already there, bro. The final round, I think that would have to be one of the winner, whoever's the current winner on Beast on a Beat, to have beats played for the final round, and the person has to spit their favorite verse live. On the brand new beat, like that shows made. That's cool it. If you could slay that. So Logic is basically that saying that we're gonna be using his round. beats. <laughs> <laughs> so far, Logic the beat man. Beat, man. Yo, great <laughs> idea, though, Akeem, and we're gonna be working, yeah, man. Yeah, Trust yeah. me, you're gonna be involved fact. with that. That's a super fact. Logic the beat man, hit us with a super fact. Yo, the man. crazy thing is, I thought I was gonna show out because I got two, and this man <laughs> said, "Yeah, I got three, but I got two. First, yeah, now yeah, I can't, I can't, bro. I've been thinking like the whole time since he said this is the segment. Like the first joint is, it's not about. What you know is about who you know. That's a super fact. Second one is they don't call me the beat man for nothing. Like, Let's super go, fact. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's the champion, That's why man. I like to hear the champ talking. Like I said, we knew him from the mud. He wore the chain tonight. He's represented. He is the champion. And y'all got to take it from him. So Joey Playo is the first contestant. September 1st is going to go down, man. So Prince Akeem, man, we're going to get into these main, main questions of the night before we get into some bars, man. Where do you see yourself in the next five years, man? Uh, next five years... Um, BT Awards just passed. That's where I see myself. All right. Facts. Next five years. It's right. awesome, man. Nominated, like if not best new artist, lyricist of the year. Nice. If not, if not nominated for any BT Awards, I, I feel like in five years I should have you know nomination. That's what that's what I'm looking for. I, I want that nominations. You know, Philly Hip Hop Awards. You got the Jersey Hip Hop Awards. Mm-hmm. The one in Camden. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm I'm looking to be recognized and. Winners of these awards in the next five years. Facts, right. man. That's a trust me. We see it happen, and we know it's gonna happen, man. Logic the beat, man. Where you see yourself in the next five years, man? With a Grammy under my belt. <laughs> Facts. Like right. I, I need that. I need that. That's that's what all this hard work is for. I need that. So either a nom, and if it's a nom, it's two nominations. Yeah. Or I, I need to bring that home. Facts. And I'm telling you, like I said. And it's funny that you said nominations and Grammys right before, right after I said, I'm going to see you on TV in five years. <laughs> so y'all right. see it, man. Speaking into, yeah, speaking into existence, exactly. So full time, man, we in the building. So Logic, man, I'm going to hit you with this question real quick, man. Uh, what's your message to the youth? You know, uh, the hip hop has definitely attracted a lot of young people in the new generation. Be but yourself. what's your message to the youth, man? Be yourself. Stop trying to emulate everything that you see on TV and on the internet, be yourself. You will get a lot further, a lot faster being yourself. Super fact. Super that might be fact. the biggest super fact of the whole night. Prince Akeem, where you, you know, what's your question? message to the youth, man? You know, being My message to the artist youth. you are, man. My Straight message up. to the youth is, um, so like I said, I've been in this for four years now. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm living my best life right now. And it's all because of consistency. It's a constant grind when you do this music. And, like, 
a lot of people they want to drop one song, drop two songs, think it's the hottest song ever, and they think they're supposed to make it after that. It doesn't stop there. You have to be at these interviews. You have to go to these shows. You have to go to these open mics. You have to ask individually for people's Instagrams. You have to, you know, stay dedicated. Make sure your your entertainment aspect is up to par. You have to, you know, stay connected with your producers and you know, videographers and you know, the creators surrounded around hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um, it's all consistency and it's a dedication that you have to stay consistent with. It doesn't stop after your first song drops. It doesn't stop after your first video drops. It doesn't stop after you get that first phone call that somebody says they want to be your manager. It doesn't stop at none of that. It's just, it's a consistency and it's a constant grind that you have right. to continue to keep going. Like for four years that I've been doing this music, I have not took one break, and that's because I mean that's because it's a grind. I mean I have a love for it, but at the same time I want to see myself succeed and progress. Can't do that taking breaks. Huh, so, nice. consistency. Yo, and to add on to that too, and you got to keep doing it when nobody's playing your stuff. Like you got to yeah. push through that. Like it doesn't matter, as long as the content is there. One day it's gonna happen for you, and then right. that fan base is gonna be able to go back to that entire catalog. So you got to push through even when nobody is listening. Right. It basically brings back to you know all, all the aspects, like as far as working and people who are in sports and everything like that. It's literally the same thing. Like. You start off something, and you're some type of a level at it, but when you consistently keep pushing yourself to go through, whether it's a hard time or not, then it's like the more hard times you push through, then the hard times become easier, and you learn, you pick up, you adapt, and then you change. So what you did five years ago, but you pushed through and kept gaining more knowledge, five years from that point, you could be on a whole nother level than what you were at, so... When yeah, um, super that. fact, like you man. did the best you could ever <laughs> when, do because you can always elevate. When I first started music, one one last thing, I don't mean to slow anything down. Um, my mom was my first manager, and my mom told me one thing: she doesn't know anything about music, she doesn't know anything about anything that has to do with hip hop. But she told me one thing, and it stuck with me forever. She said, "Make sure you have a project you're promoting and a project you're working on, always at all times. Never just a project you're promoting, never just a project you're working on. Make sure you have one you're pushing, one that you're." That's in progress, and with that, you know, format, you'll always continue to succeed. Have, have one coming, and have one in the back end, man. Perfect. If that's not a strong enough message for the youth, man, I don't know what is. Might be the strongest. Hit, hit the most hardest in 2018 right now. You know what I mean? And that's a super fact. So uh, we'll get into our big stumper tonight before we get into some bars. Yes, when I say some bars, this means Prince Akeem is going to be spitting over a logic to beat man beat. So it's going to be fun. But let's get into it. I'm going to hit you. Prince Akeem, man. Top five hip-hop artists, dead or alive, no specific order. Ooh. Right here on spot, on the full-time radio show, man. Uh, All right, so top five, um, dead or alive. All right, so, you know, it is very tough. And I don't want anybody to look at me or judge me any type of way you if I don't so name their top five. There's no way. There's now, no way. my top five is based on who I listen to. Right. I'm going to put right. that out there. And that's cool. Um, Childish Gambino. Um... Chance the rapper, um, J Cole of course, okay, Kendrick Lamar. These are all my influences too. Uh, if and um, Prince Hakeem. <laughs> Prince Hakeem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another yeah, artist might be the third, fourth week in a row. Said, "Yo, I'm in yeah, my top five, baby." Prince Hakeem. Now, that's yeah. all about being consistent right. and being confident with like you that. doing, and that's right. why I say y'all are gonna be on TV. And that's why we trust me, man. Mark this statement. I'm telling you right now. Back. You gonna see Prince Akeem rocking. You gonna see Logic the Beatman rocking. Now, Logic, let's get that top five, man. Here we go. Top no five order. artists. Yep. No order. Hip hop. Uh, definitely dead or alive. gotta agree with uh, Gambino, uh, K. Cuddy, uh, uh, Styles P, yeah. Jada Kiss. Hell yeah. I'm not gonna say the locks because she, no, you know. I don't think she. Yeah, I hear you. Um, and the fifth one. The ten second stumper, man. We yeah, hit everybody I go with, with beans. it. Beans, beans, uh, facts. So we got Childish Gambino, Kid Cudi, Jada Style, Beans. No, we got Prince Akeem. Yeah, Childish okay. Gambino, J Cole, right. Right. Chance the Rapper, Glover, man. That's my, that's that, he's at the top, man. Oh, I, 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 and Kendrick. So now, if I have a call now, out of all these ones, I think that the one hasn't been mentioned before because I think we've heard Chance mentioned before. Yes. And I think we actually heard Cuddy mentioned before. Yes. Be Gambino. Gambino, Gambino yeah, it's definitely Prince a person. Hakeem, 
are the two greatest, <laughs> yeah. the new, <laughs> to add to the list of all time. You already know, man. Y'all heard it in the music tonight, man. You know what I mean? Dot, man, how you feel about our guests, man? Do you, do you feel the same thing as me? Like, these guys are going places, man. Yeah, I thought it was a dope interview. I like both of these guys, man. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what they put together. Together. Yeah, know? that's yeah. it. I'm definitely yep. looking forward to that. Like so I said, my goal was accomplished, and <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. It don't matter if it was live. It, it had to happen. It, 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 trust me, everything was meant to happen this way. Prince Akeem, Logic the Beat, man. Right. Give yourselves a round of applause, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I hope y'all had a good time tonight here with the full time boys, time, man. Time, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, yeah. Y'all came out, spent some time with us. You know what I mean? So we're going to get to some bars, though, man. Logic the Beat, man. Beats of the Beat. Volume 1 Champions got some beats for you. And so, Prince Hakeem's got some bars for you. You already know my favorite part of the night. So anyway, Logic, do you have a beat already on your mind that you would think of that course. would be good for Hakeem? Of course. All right. So everybody stay tuned. We about to drop the beat from the beat producer. Beast on a beat. Battle tournament. The winner, rocking the chain in the building. You already know, man. It's dog, September 1st, Beast on the Beat, Volume 2. Um, me and Jay, that got a lot of things coming up. You know, July 21st, make sure you're on the building, man. Voltage. Voltage is going to be round two. Prince Vol- Akeem and uh, Logic, yo. You want to uh, plug in some of your shout outs? You got any shout outs where they can find you at on social media and everything? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so you can find me on Twitter at Keem, K E E M B underscore me. You can find me on Instagram at um, Prince four underscores Akeem. That's Prince four underscores A K E E M. Um, Snapchat is the same thing as Twitter. Twitter Keem be me. Keem B underscore me. And that's pretty much it. You already know, man. Logic, right. where can they find you? Look Yo, up. everything. Logic the Beatman. L O G I C D A the Beatman. B A T M A N. That's on every platform. And then, of course, if you need beats, it's Logic the Beatman dot com. That's it. You heard that? Website. Solidify. Full time. Let's get into these bars, man. We'll see y'all next week. Shout out to the big dog, man. I-95 North. North got us. ABM101.com every Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. Shout out to Don Pilot, All-Star P. This has been the full-time radio show. For the record, fuck Fuck trash trash rappers. rappers. I'm your host, Craig Lynch. Boy, J.TYM, Fresh Air, Broke Guys, Jersey. Rest in peace, Jimmy D. This is Johnny Checks, full time radio show. If you haven't tuned in yet now, you better you're hearing it, you better stay tuned now. We're about to drop the beat from Logic the Beat Man and we got Prince Hakeem about the murder. Let's get it, man. Prince, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Logic the beat man, you ready? Of course. Let's go, man. We'll see y'all next week. We appreciate you. Love y'all, man. Keep doing what you do, man. Y'all are definitely full time, man. FTR. Let's get it going. Holla. Salute. Friday night. Oh yeah. Friday night bars. Turn up. Prince Hakeem, Logic the Beat Man, FTR. Let's play that shit back, man. We still going. Uh.
Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Here we go. Uh huh. Full time FTR. Facts. I got issues. Prince Hakeem, ah. Logic the Beat Man, man, make some noise for man, these gentlemen, FTR, man. baby. Yeah. This is the full time radio show for the record. Fuck, Fuck trash, trash rappers. rappers. I'm your host, Craig Lynch. This is your boy J. Dot, TYM, Fresh Air, Bro Guys, Jersey, and it's been shout out to Logic, shout out to Prince Hakeem, two dope motherfuckers. Yes, man. This is Johnny Tex. You already know. I felt it from the beginning. Tonight was going to be insane. We got a beat champion, and we got somebody who slays the shit. So there wasn't no reason for it to go other than the way it did tonight. You already know, man. Have a good motherfucking night. Full-time radio show. You already know. Shout out to All-Star P, Don Pollitt, Prince Akeem Logic. We appreciate y'all, man. You already know. Yeah, let me get my shout-outs. Let me get some shout-outs, baby. Oh, all day. What's up, baby? This is Logic the Beat, man. And uh, (laughs) you feel me? I want to shout out uh, Petra Masada, Digital Analog, and, uh, you know, FLF the Squatter, you know, the family, family last forever. Shout out my boy Don Pollock. It's like, no, nah, my boy. Look, this is Don P, y'all. 
And uh, do I thank Snipe for the uh, opportunity to come up here? You feel me? Appreciate this it. This shit man. is hard. I just called it FTR. What is it? Uh, uh fuck trash rappers. Wait, for, for the for record. Full time radio. <laughs> for the record. Uh, for the record, right? Ooh. Oh shit! Oh, it, was, it goes in order. Yeah, it's yeah. more. All right, wait, wait. Somebody, somebody recite. This is the full time radio record. show for, for the record. record. Huh? Fuck, fuck trash, trash rappers. That's hard. Yeah. That's fucking hard. Um, Thanks. But, uh, shout out, um, <laughs> shout out, Sickleville. You feel me? Shout out the whole Hello. South Jersey. You dig know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the listeners. You dig know what I'm saying? It's it's definitely some crazy music coming from Logic the Beat Man and Prince Akeem. I promise you. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is working. I'm I'm seeing it. I'm I'm, I'm in the fucking um. Uh, I'm here in, the, in this in this building and bro, the energy is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's a super niggas, fact. You feel me? Like you you can see the star power in these niggas. You know what I mean, you can feel it in the room. You know what I'm saying. Appreciate you, man. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Music Fame Entertainment. That was my brother. And um, what he put on for me, I put on for him. So um, I just had to put that out there. Shout out to Music Fame Entertainment. Shout out to Quads, my video man for uh, she just called me. Oh, oh, my God. Video that I shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the, the Wild Wally, the first one who approached me, asked me to be a part of Music Fame Entertainment. Introduce it. Shout out to mm-hmm. Epic, Astro. Shout out to my boy Nick Willie. You know, shout out to the whole Nick Willie. And also. Let's go, man. Prince Akeem. Yo, what's going on? Ah, got him. All right. Uh, what's going on? It's Logic the Beat, man. Shout out Reaper Custom Studio. Shout out Prince of Masada. Shout out uh, FLF. Shout Fanny Last Forever. Shout out Digital Analog. Shout out Sink or Swim. Sean Smith. What's up, boy? I see you. I'm about to get into this last beat, uh, and I feel like it's super appropriate. It's a track that has a hook on it by my man, Tate Dungada. Uh, shout out to him. I co-produced this track with uh, Joe Nice and Sam Beats, all from Jersey. Um, so this track is real heavy, and I feel like it's super appropriate for what's in this room right now is about to happen. It's called Trophies. Let's get it, man. Thanks. We'll see you all next week, man. One more time. This is the full-time radio show. For the record, fuck, fuck trash, trash rappers. rappers. Let's get it, man. <laughs>